I'd like to hear from His Excellency uh, Stefan Sous. Thank you. Uh, I would like to focus in our attention on the military families here. For the last six years, as an army chaplain, I attend about 94 funerals, many blessing of uh, military families, uh, baptism of military children, and uh, different life occasions here. And in Ukraine, we all became like children of war, participants of war, and um, the task of everybody is to be steadfast, not to yield to aggression, but hatred, which often, um, or, and hatred, which often are the means of any conflict. The war in, in the east of Ukraine has made us distinguish between five types of Ukrainian uh, military families. The ones that, is, that have lost someone in the war, families, those who have members have gone missing, uh, probably in captivity, uh, but their fate is unknown, and we still, and this family are still waiting for uh, delivering for prisoner, prison from Donbass, their sons and soldiers. Families where um, somebody has been seriously injured during the war has un undergone amputation, is in need of ongoing care, rehabilitation. Families where someone has become mentally ill as a result of the war has suffered serious stress, is in need of ongoing care, and the families of military men which have been, become migrant, migrants out of necessity, especially those, those who lived in the Donbass area, as, um, and have left their homes and moved to the other part of Ukraine or abroad. A veteran that is a soldier who carries victory and the wounds of fighting in himself. Not just that he has been wounded by the war, it has also made a deep imprint on those loving him, his family, parents, wife, and children. We need to pay attention to the families of parish, parish soldiers and veterans. Their environment is one of the stage of healing. It is important for the family to understand the inner state of the soldier and for the soldier to accept his family as an environment where he will feel good and can be healed. And there, is, there has been not a single just war in the world. The circumstances of Ukrainian people is now to get everybody to think how important peace, freedom, democracy are. We are faced with an extremely important task to stand side by side with those in need of our attention and solidarity. Thank you for your attention.